Hey everyone, I'm Brugly, and welcome to Brugmas Year 2, Episode 1. So last year for Brugmas, I went over levels 0 through 13. Then in the summer, I went over levels 13 through 50. And now I'm going to be going over levels 51 to 58, along with some other stuff sprinkled in this week. This whole week's full of uploads every day and bonus content, and there's so much more. Stay to the end of the video for all the announcements, including the merch announcement. But without further Further ado, thank you for watching, and let's get into the explanation, shall we? So, Backrooms level 51 is classified as a class 4 difficulty, and is pretty unsafe and unsecure, with a medium entity count, and the level itself is very unique. That's what I'll say. It looks like a huge maze of marble hallways that are all decorated in a Greek type theme. The level seemingly doesn't allow pictures to be taken, and each time someone tries to snap a picture, the image file corrupts and it's blurry and blacked out. So every image you see in this video is an artistic example of what the level might look like based off of several wanderers reports, because there wouldn't be a video if I didn't have pictures. So yeah. So as I said, level 51 looks like a huge maze, and the style and architecture of this maze looks like something from ancient Greece. The maze's floor has polygon lines on it, and there are baskets and random pieces of pottery and that kind of thing on the floor, as well as some random vines on the side of the walls as well. And speaking of the walls, they also have the same polygon lines as the floor, and the ceiling has really detailed carvings and lines and shapes as well. Now the ceiling also has several weird holes in it, and these holes can actually lead out of the level to a different one, but more on that later. In these hallways, there's literally no dirt or dust, and everything is perfectly shiny clean. It just looks brand new, it looks like nothing's ever been here. Now the only normal entity in these halls are rats. Big scary rats. Love to see that. Now, the rats are not normal because they're weirdly colored and they're massive, but most of them are white or gold, and some are even purple. They eat the random vines that grow on the walls, by the way. And these rats are also eaten by the main entity here, which is the Minotaur. And a Minotaur is one of these things, you probably heard about them before, but they're a giant bull-human hybrid, and there's apparently one or thousands of them on this level. It hunts those who come here through noise, so if you're rattling off a bunch of noise and you're stomping or screaming, it'll hear you and it'll come after you. It's not known if there's multiple or if there's just one because the level is just so large that it would be impossible to tell, but there is for sure at least one because several people have reported it and several people have been seen being mauled by it. Now the level actually is not infinite because there's another part of the level that you can get to from the maze. And this is called the Lost City. Now this Lost City is in an underground cavern ravine type area. And you get here by walking in the maze for a really long time. It's an unknown amount of time, but it's a really long time. People have tried to see how long it takes by timing it, but time doesn't work here. Shocker. But the Lost City is connected to the maze somehow. And the Lost City itself isn't massive, it's kind of small actually, but it's in this cavern, cave type place, and it has markets and houses, temples, and that sort of thing. But the good news for you is that the Minotaur entity does not come here. It's never been seen here, and it looks like it either can't enter, or it just won't enter. We don't know why. There are other backrooms entities here though that are in other levels, like Skin Stealers and Hounds and Dullers, which are just the most common ones, but they're in this Lost City area too, they're just not as common. In the middle of the city, there is one big temple, and this is a very weird and unique place. It's kind of like the town center area, and it's the safest spot in all of the level for you. Around the temple, there's waterfalls and plants growing all around it, and it's just, you know, a fantastical temple looking thing. There are Greek symbols on the stones around the pyramid, and there are Greek symbols inside the pyramid. So this level is yet another example of a weird connection with Greek mythology and the back rooms. Strange. If you walk inside the temple, there is actually a specific hallway that has nothing in it but doors. And on these doors, there are different symbols in Greek, and these symbols and these doors can take you to different levels, we think. We don't know, of course, but they do lead somewhere. A wanderer has described this hallway as sort of an ancient version of the hub level, which I thought was pretty cool. Elsewhere in the Lost City, there's a village where there actually are a few people. 
They're just called the villagers, and they're supposed to be around 200 of them. They do not understand English, but they seem nice enough. They don't really attack you. They're kind of just neutral with you. The weird thing about them, though, is they won't go near the temple in the middle of the town. They stay all around it in the villages and markets, but they won't go in it. But they seem to live normal lives down here in this cavern city. To enter this level, you can find a piece of pottery on level 34 that's got some sort of liquid in it, and then drink it, and you'll be sent to the maze of the level. It's thought that everybody gets sent to a different spot in the maze, so you just gotta hope you're lucky so you get sent close to the lost city. And to exit, you can go through one of those holes in the maze's roof that I talked about, or you can go into the temple and find a door with a symbol on it, and then go into whichever door you want. We have no idea where they all lead, so good luck with that. That's it for the video. Thank you all for watching to the end. If you are still watching, comment mazes are cool, because if you comment that, you're a real one. Also, merch is out. That is right. This is the first day that merchandise of Brugly, Brugly merch, is out right now. So go to the link in the top of the description if you want to go buy some merch. I got all this stuff. I got hoodies. I got shirts. I got blankets. I got coffee mugs. I got phone cases. Literally everything. This is like the winter drop. And let me tell you, this stuff is awesome. I made sure to print it all on these premium hoodies and these premium shirts. And as you can see with the pictures of me here, um, there they look awesome. The design is amazing. I love the design and this is literally just the start of the Brugley merch line because I'm going to come out with different drops throughout all times of the year and I want to make this whole new concept of a vibe for t-shirts and, and hoodies and stuff this whole like liminal retro core VHS type thing I want that to be what the Brugley brand is about so from here on out the merch drops are going to be awesome and they're going to be the same vibe. Anyways, if you want to support the channel and you want to have some super cool merch, check the link in the description below. I made the prices to where I make literally minimal dollars off of this just so they're very affordable. Hope y'all enjoy them. If you're still watching, you can use code BRUGMIS for 10% off for the rest of the week all the way until next Sunday. Just for the OG BRUGMIS viewers, if you're still listening, you know, you just use that code at checkout. 10% off. That's valid all week. Hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all grab something. Tag me on Twitter if you do get something. I want to follow everybody back that, that receives their stuff. Thank you so much for everything. Seriously, I, I'm so happy with how this turned out. Hope y'all like him too. Thank you so much for all you do. I love and appreciate each and every one of you, and I will see you all tomorrow for Brugmas Day 2. Get ready, y'all.